Hi, everybody. Hey. <laughs> so we just listed some watches, and here's one of them, the, uh, the Zodiac. It's from the 1960s, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's from the mid-60s. Mm-hmm. And uh, what else did you tell me? Uh, it's the, it's well, I can I can go on. I, I are can, you sure? Sure, sure, sure. I think it's, it's going to be fine. It's pretty cool. It, no, actually, it is a pretty cool watch, and I do like it. This was some. This is a mid '60s, probably. I mean, it could be '50s, but I'd say it's '60s simply because it has the more modern style, current style, sealed pushers. So what's nice about this one is that. I rebuilt it completely. It has all new seals. And these are actually sealed, unlike the earlier ones where the case was basically open to the atmosphere. This one was somebody's watch. And they wore it a lot. And it looks like at a certain point, it got really bonked around. Maybe the crystal was scratched or something happened. But it's... The mid-case plating is pretty worn, and the dial is too, but the printing is clean. But it looks like whoever the person was, they took it in, and they had work done, including a new new vintage gun-blued handset. I me. love the way the blued uh, hands look. So do I, and it ties in perfectly with, this, with, the, with the tacky ring. Sorry, I keep moving it. It's a really, really pretty watch. The bezel... And the case back are stainless steel. The dial is marked Zodiac Chronograph Suisse. This is, it's a double register chronograph, but unlike the ones, you know, the ones that most everybody sees or has, those are powered by a movement made by a company, Valju, uh, which is part of ETA. Double register. It was the Valju 7733. This is not Valju. This is Landeron. Mm. I love Landeron. And Landeron is deeply unappreciated. It's really good stuff. It's a, it's a, they're extremely nice. Very reliable. Let me get this out of here. Very, very, very reliable. Solid movements. Wish I had some Rodico out here, but I don't. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. Sorry, folks, you're getting to watch me do this manually. Well, you could speed it up. Edit. <laughs> I, I could, but... Or cut it out. There it is. Beautiful quality. This is like... These have the same level of sort of workhorsedness that the that the Valjus have, but they're definitely a different beast, but they're... They're great movements, and a lot of people are just not familiar with them, which is too bad. They really are great movements. So these, the thing that's different about the land run, normally it's, you have to imagine uh, that this watch is on my wrist or upside down or something. Normally the top button would be uh, stop start, but with these land runs, the top, that's the chronograph starts running, and then the bottom, you stop it, and the bottom resets it again. So again, we start going, and then you stop it, and then, you, and then it resets. You can see the hammers are zeroing out the, the two registers there. It's a beautiful watch. Fully serviced, ready to go. So let me, uh, let me put that case back on it. Yep, I see it. And I will go, and uh, I am going to go, and I will uh, make sure this is cleaned out. I'll, I'll take it inside. We're, we're out on the new garage watch bench now. Let me just f firm this down, and then I'll go and check it out to make sure it's correct. It is a beautiful... That's a beautiful watch. The handset really does make it. Yep. It really does. All right, folks, ready to go. Bye.